Hello there, everybody! 6 of Cyrus here, welcoming you back to Gal Civ 3. We are currently the Altarians, and the center of the galaxy belongs to us. It's very good times. So I think for now this is going to be a Sunday series. It's just going to be kind of laid back. If I don't get it in every week, I just don't get it in every week. Unfortunately, I wish I could do a little better than that, but... Oh, really? <sighs> Minus 25% ship speed for everyone. That's going to complicate everything we're doing. Um, hmm. Is that a black hole? It is. That's fascinating. Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to get that tourism soon, and that's going to help our income per turn a lot. Uh, what are you producing? The deep root is a constructor. Uh, and I can't buy any of these. Let me move one of these up to the first in the slot. I'd like to start colonizing the rest of this area. Maybe stake my claim here as well. Um, probably in these two systems. Just to fully control the center of this galaxy. We're a little off-center, actually. I don't know why I got all excited about that in the first episode. But it still means something, I guess. Um, because I've seen in other people's plays that AI get pretty upset. Um, if they believe that an area belongs to them, such as the center of the universe or the solar system, they will get crazy about it. We do have things being made, so, um, constructors, excuse me. So it'll get that eventually. It definitely needs to be defended. Another turn already? I, this is going faster than I would normally expect. Uh, but then we haven't met anybody, nobody knows about us. Ooh, research. Tourism got finished. Now, what about this, uh, birth subsidies would be fantastic. Um, I want institutional research. Who, who gone idle? Oh, you, you went idle. Uh, here would be a great place for that. Um, hmm. Healing pools. Sure, you can have a healing pools, uh, and that spot's good for money, so that's that's a great combo there. I don't mind that at all. Really don't understand why our ships aren't exploring over here. I think I need to stop auto-exploring in every 4X game that I play. It just doesn't work right. Like, why are we exploring empty space? I just, I don't understand. Oh, boys, there might be something interesting down there. Uh, that's what they're trying to tell me, but it's just hard for me to believe. Timmy! Oh, poor Timmy, it's a dead planet. It's not even just Timmy, it's, it's Timmy too. Uh. Ooh, four turns for that light spreader. That's good, I want to get it somewhere over here, like, ASAP. Uh, that turn took a little bit to process. That was a little strange. Yeah, we're getting weird hiccups here. Oh, I see part of it's as our influence increases. And our ships can't travel as far as they used to either, so that's a problem. 
Yay, institutional research. Ooh, research optimization. Uh, give me more research for the same price. It makes the most sense. Uh, we do want to win by a science victory here because that's uh, one of the things that you can actually work for with this race uh, with their bonuses. It's just kind of something that they're designed to do, I guess. Um, crap. There we go. That's an okay route, I guess. I really need to get a mining uh, star base in here as well. Those resources are pretty serious business. Saving game? I don't know why you need to do that. But okay. It's only turn 68. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't tell it to try and survey that. Oh, the planet's done. Um, where would we get a good bonus? Probably here. That's good. We'll come back. Uh, and we were just talking about this. I hope that'll eventually get all three of them. Oh, we were supposed to build an archaeology oh. influence. I wondered what was up with that. Who's idle? Oh, come on. Got a little bit more movement left. Dang it. Nothing around that star. Nothing. I hate that when I find a dead star like this. Well, the star itself isn't dead. But uh, it's an empty system, aside from the thulium. Yeah, why is it saving so often? That's so strange. Whoa. Where'd you come from? Yeah, we'll get that uh, light spreader after the deep root there. Let's choose a new tech. Um, hmm. We do need some xenoeconomics. We need to make more money in order to science harder. <laughs> yeah, they're just random exploring, like I said. That's so weird. And why do we have this big old chunk out of what we can go in this direction. There's some mechanics about this game that I don't fully understand yet. Uh, it's kind of surprising, therefore, that I can win. Minus 20% approval all races? Are you kidding me? What is this? The most negative friggin' frickin' frack? Uh, oh, we don't have the tech for it. Um, well... We'll come back to you. Apparently we don't have mining. Piercing breeze? Say what? Where's my idle ship? Uh, the piercing breeze is a small escort. Really? I think I would prefer you protected this, help protect this star base. That's not a terrible idea. Aha! What do we hear? Laney one. It's a bread basket. Food, growth, oh, this is exactly what we were looking for. Hmm. Plus 25% research. I'm, it's not even, well, swamped. Upon landing in this world, you quickly realize that it's been inhabited before. Beneath the northern ice, explorers have found an ancient starship. They believe they can free the ship from the ice, but the resulting melt will flood much of the arable land on the planet and the climate change will kill most of the unique native species. Of course we're gonna save the native species. Leave the ship buried, but study it. Hmm. Really? I think
think the first thing we want to do is put a planetary soil upgrade there. And then I'm just going to lay down all of that. And when we can come back to it, I'm going to put the tech capital right here so we get some good bonuses. So that that's all good. It really is. I am quite pleased with that. We got for research. I want to do some mining. Orbital manufacturing? No. Uh, warfare won't do it for us. Uh, I'm tempted. I am so tempted to get an environmental engineering for extreme colonization, but we don't have extreme colonization problems um, because we made sure that those would be rare planets. really want to colonize this other planet here. I feel kind of uh, worried about it. It would be the first place uh, that I would colonize if I were another race and I knew where that was. Fortunately, that's not the case. Can this thing be upgraded? Neither of these can. Hmm. I think we'll take this guy out over here. Light spreader, 13 turns. Uh, oh, why don't I edit the sponsors? Five sponsors. I forget all about that all the time. There we go. Done. Yeah, that cut that in half. That's perfect. Ooh, 25%. Towards our research centers. It's good progress. But yeah, I, I want this to be kind of a, a more relaxed where you guys can just ask all your questions or, you know, uh, leave me feedback on how you'd like me to play this. Um, of course, I was all terrible and decided that I went, wanted to win a science victory all on my own, but uh, yeah, it could be worse. Let's get an economic ring. Oh, really? Um, recreation center. Let, let's just get all these things. It'll automatically send for our stuff, so that'll be good. Oh, what do, what do we got here? Uh, 73 turns for a shipyard. I think not. How about we give you another consulate? Because clearly you need more consulates. Poor planet. <laughs> I think we may need another shipyard. That's probably going to be a thing that we'll do. Uh, we'll move it over here somewhere. Of course, that's going to cut down our production quite significantly per shipyard, but that's two shipyards producing, say it would take 14 turns for a colony ship, well that's two colony ships every 14 turns, which is uh, pretty useful, you know. Uh, let's just fully load this sucker. Got these colonists heading for Halevonda 2. It's going to be a nice research planet. Tech focus, well, more research. <laughs> Research the research to research research. It, it makes sense, right? That's English. Those are words that make coherent sentences, I think. Um, our morale is quite high. Ooh, less approval. I will take the benevolent here for the influence. Uh, I'd like the productivity. But yeah, uh, let's let's go ahead and read this now. An aggressive species of sentient quadrupeds are our aggressive natives here. They live in the forests and hills of this planet. They've resisted all attempts to communicate with them and have relentlessly attacked your colony since you arrived. 
Although no actual threat to you militarily, they can harass and easily slaughter unguarded civilians. And as is so often the case when the risk of slaughter is non-zero, morale amongst the colonists is low. My orders are to ramp up our native outreach efforts. Even if we lose a few people doing it, this effort will make our colony an advertisement to the galaxy of our culture's kind and sympathetic nature. We're going to lose population to it, yes. Um, but I want to show people it's, it's not all about being a jerk. Planetary soil upgrade. That's an excellent candidate for it. Uh, there we go. Another good research planet. Ooh, ideology points. We're getting some more benevolent points. Ah, we already had that one. Uh, I'd love to get it again. Oh no, no. Um, I can unlock it? What? I'm so confused. Yeah, we, we definitely discovered a new planet. I thought so. Do we have enough money? Buy this out. We do. Okay. So, another free habitable planet. Gotta love that. We definitely have the morale to support more people. So, um. Oh, what? That was the wrong thing. I meant to grab a light spreader. And we can't buy it now. That's fine. Uh, what? That's a little weird. There we go. I'd like to get this planet, uh, Aaron, one, some um, orbital support. Because, you know, that's, that's the right thing to do. Is that Illyrium? Hmm. Not sure I want a star base out here. How are we doing income per turn? It's not bad. Aw, oh, crap. It's not our turn right now. Um, what? So it was our turn. I just got confused. that starbase market oh god this will be our best starbase it'll be great whoa 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 it's a trade ship wow we are now going to have to get ourselves some universal translators uh, so that means the Iconians are in this area here. They probably got a nice cluster, like we did. <coughs> <coughs> Goodness. I was just watching somebody cough a whole bunch. I guess it's my turn. For no real reason at all. I'm really liking this place so far. It's quiet. Nobody's invading our territories, which is very important for me because uh, I could see that being a, a very uh, quick thing to happen in other plays if we were really tight-knit as a galaxy cluster. I think it looks really pretty how it's kind of random, but it's still almost spiral shape. Oh, Idle Colony. Uh, you're completely done with everything. Give me a research project. Forever. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the victory screen. Wow. Uh, if we wanted to start working on that, we'd have to go... Oh, Pragmatic Points. Subspace Wave. Valuable Artifacts. Yeah, we'll go Pragmatic. Ooh. Did we just unlock a pragmatic point? Preparedness center.
See, this is nice. We want to hold on to that. But for now, I think the best thing we could do is kill shipyard decay so we build ships faster. Um, and shipyard decay is, of course, from production. The production your planets have excess that goes to a shipyard decreases over the space it travels. It's kind of complicated. Got a bunch of Promethean here. Shalf. Hey, sentient planet. Your scientists tell you that there's something strange about this planet. It talks to us, they explain. That's strange. Planets shouldn't do that. Although, the planet seems disinterested in your day-to-day -day affairs. It may be possible to communicate with it further. You begin communicating with the planet. It turns out the planet is really boring. And all of its stories about are about dirt and take forever to tell. Nevertheless, your researchers manage to learn a lot about dirt. More research. So, oh look, and more research. Like, this planet was tailor-made for us to research on it. Hey, Xanthium deposit. Oh, that's nice. Uh, that gives us back some of our hit points that uh, our species uh, lacks in its ships. It's very interesting. All right. Now, um, is it in here? Or is it? It's in here. Okay. I'd like to try and get communications up um, early with the Iconians, uh, just to try and keep them happy. I don't want them to think I'm an easy target because I'm not building militarily. That could be a huge problem. Uh, influence growth, diplomacy both. Mm, mm. I want a diplomacy boost. Sure, sure, I'll pay you. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind there. For the moment, though, things are kind of slow. We don't have really anywhere to colonize right now. I wonder who's the most powerful. Yeah, the Iconians. Well, we're not building a military. Uh, so I think we're officially going to start... Um, yeah, we are. Is it under engineering? No, deeper knowledge right here. Um, I want to look at the tech tree. Can I zoom out? Optimized research? No, it picked it for us. What the hell? I didn't want advanced construction. Oh, let's get research coordination. I think I understand. Uh, we can only get these texts scientifically in the age of war. Um, we need quantum understanding, research matrix, and right into beyond mortality. They changed up the tech tree, and I'm not sure I'm happy with it, but that's all right. So we've got about six more minutes here. Let's uh, see what we can do with the little bit of time we have left. Treasury bonus. I always like those. Oh, good. They like us. Diplomacy. Opposing ideologies. Shite. But overall, it's happy. Uh, that only takes away the trade, uh, and we still have plus four positive 
with them. So that's good. That's good. I, I'm going to try and keep it that way because they could very easily find reason to get rid of us. I think I'm going to get, excuse me, the um, science text that I was looking at and then we're going to start working on some defense ships. You know, nothing insane, but I want to be able to distract an opponent. Um, because oftentimes with a technological victory, uh, you will get attacked, and one of the, the best tactics you can do if you aren't uh, militarily advanced is just hold them off while you, you finish your last tech or two that you need for your science victory. And uh, I've done that before, and I think that may be what we have to do here if uh, things get too bad. Okay. Uh, we need deeper knowledge. 20 turns. So already, in, at the end of episode 2 here, we're moving towards our science victory as hardcore as we can. It's pretty important that uh, we stay on track for it. Even the slightest distraction, like going for those military techs, could ruin us. But at the same time, it might be necessary. Well, missile weapons? Okay, in the next episode, we have to make our Iconian friends very happy. Um, it's rare that they share military techs so freely. Especially with opposing ideologies? This is crazy. That's not something I would expect at all. Maybe, just maybe, we could, uh, oh. Uh, was this a production planet? It was. Let's get another basic factory in there and just finish off Timmy 1. Uh, did we use up? Okay, we did. Okay. So we don't have... Uh, an extra soil improvement for that planet at the moment, which is perfectly fine with me. I just kind of hoped we could um, make a little more use of things there. But, uh, no, uh, that planet will be finished soon. Three turns and Timmy 1 will be done. Um, didn't mean to rhyme there. That's the English language doing its work for me. <laughs> We might get deeper knowledge this episode. That'd be really nice, actually. All those research institutes that are about to complete, that's gonna help us with deeper knowledge. I wonder how much that's gonna change things. Nine turns remaining. That's gonna change again when this turn ticks over. Optimized research, ouch. Uh, they're trying to stay even with us, technologically speaking, which, um, yeah, we've started to fall back in technological advancements. They cheated us on that. That's okay, we're gonna get deeper knowledge and that's going to thrust it back into our favor. Although I think that's kind of odd that he's specifically asking us for texts that he's got to know that we're specifically researching towards victory for. Um, I'm sort of suspicious. Altaria's Q is 100% empty? No, 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 no. I can't let this happen. Financial capital. We are making a lot of money in... Yeah. We're going to put the financial capital down here. And then I think we'll just do a research project. Even though that really won't do as much here as we'd like it to, it will add a bonus. And that's what's most important in this case. So I think we may actually be large enough. for what we want to accomplish already. Um, 
Research plus five percent. That's not really a lot. Plus one morale, but the yeah, yeah, capped by food. I'm not worried about that. Uh, that red exclamation point kind of scared me. Okay, cool. Now, if I do that, it brings it back up. No. Cancel. I think that's the best we can do here. And I'm alright with that. Ugh. I wanted to end it exactly 30 minutes. That's just not the case. Two turns. Ooh. Plus 20% military spending. All races. Hmm. I don't want to spend more on military. How dare you. <laughs> Oh, and the shipyard's gone idle. Trade routes. I don't think we have... any trade routes that we could do right now. And yes, I'm actively working on our military a little there. Just on the side. It's not going to be much. Like I said, it'll make for good distraction. Sure, take the credits. God, you're so needy. So, it's going to be a long time. Hmm. Research support facilities, exotic research facilities. That's the best we can really do with that. Uh, let's finish off our turn here. Uh, you should probably just defend here. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And in the next episode, we're going to continue on our path to the righteous victory of science and ascend, not through the ascension crystals, but through our own intelligence. Until then, guys, hope you've enjoyed. If you liked, maybe drop a like. It helps immensely. Uh, if you're new, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more of our content. And uh, I will see you in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.